Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this uh, video, I'm gonna share with you how to download a Windows 10 ISO file onto your computer. This video is going to be part of a series uh, on how to installing Windows on your PC using a USB flash drive. This was the first part of the series okay first of all you need to make sure that your device already connected to the internet to downloading the ISO file after that open your browser it could either be Google Chrome Mozilla Firefox Microsoft Edge or whatever browser that you prefer in this example, I'm going to use a Google Chrome. After you open it, enter this website onto your address bar. I'm going to put this website address in the description. So you could just copy and paste it to your browser. After the page load correctly, go to create Windows 10 installation media section and click download tool now. Choose where you want to save it. In this example, I'm going to save it in my documents folder. Then click save. After it's complete, it download. Open the media creation tool that you already downloaded. You can either open it directly into the location of where you save it, or directly from the browser. In Google Chrome, it was located in left bottom corner of the browser itself. Just click it. And if there's user account control a warning pop up, just choose yes. After it's open, it's gonna be loading a little bit to getting a few things ready. After that, the applicable notice and license terms gonna show up. I recommend you to uh, read all of this. For now, for the sake of saving time, I'm gonna skip it and click accept after you read all of this, of course. Then it's gonna load some more. Then when this window show up, choose create an installation media, USB flash drive or DVD or ISO file for another PC. Then click next. In this windows, we're gonna be uh, given an option to select our language, architectures and an addition for the windows. If you don't understand anything about this, then it's better to leave it to the recommended option for this PC. If it looks like this on your PC, and it's already good to go. But if this looks different, you could uncheck this and change it manually. You can change the language to your preference. I'm going to use English in United States here and the edition is only Windows 10 show up 
then architecture that is gonna be three option 32 bit 64 bit or both for this option i strongly recommend you to using 64 bit the main difference one of the main difference between 32 bits and 64 bits is the maximum memory that both of this architecture can use 32 bit uh, architecture can only use 4 gigabyte memory and 64 bit can use a lot more than that so i strongly uh, recommend you to use a 64 bit most of modern device using 64 bit then after that click snap in this windows choose which media to use choose iso file then click next after that you're gonna be uh, created with this window to where you want to save your iso file i'm gonna choose on documents again and you could rename it to whatever you want to i'm gonna remain rename it in win 10 then click save make sure you have a space on the location that you selected at least maybe 10 gigabyte break space click save then it's gonna load some more then after this they're gonna download windows 10 iso onto your pc while they were downloading you can still use your pc normally i'm gonna skip a little bit until it progress to 100 percent okay it's already reached a 99 percent of progress it's gonna be finished soon after that it's gonna starting to verifying your download gonna need to wait for another progress but you still can use your PC in this process all right after uh, the project has been finished the ISO file it's already been downloaded you can open it by clicking it over here there you go this is the windows 10 iso file that has been successfully downloaded onto this computer okay uh okay that's it for this video in the next part of the f of the video i'm gonna share with you how to in uh, creating a USB bootable device using the Windows ISO file that we already downloading it before. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out the next part of the video. And please leave a like if you find this video helpful and post a comment if you have any question. Alright, see you in the next video.